Have you ever wondered what lies beneath the waves of the South Pacific? What if there was a hidden continent that you never knew existed? A vast and mysterious landmass with a rich and turbulent history shaped by powerful and unpredictable natural forces and human habitation over centuries. This is Zealandia, Earth's eighth and smallest continent, covering an area of five million square kilometers, but only 6% of it is above water. Join us as we unveil the secrets of this lost world. Zelandia's story begins over 200 million years ago, when it was part of the ancient supercontinent Gondwana, linked to Antarctica and Australia. Around 100 million years ago, tectonic forces caused Zelandia to break off and drift away. As the continent moved, underwater volcanoes like Taranaki, Taupo, and Rangitoto created islands that became New Zealand. But Zelandia's journey was not over yet. Continued shifting of tectonic plates caused most of Zealandia to sink below sea level. Scientists believe this was due to a combination of factors, such as thinning of the crust, cooling of the mantle, and rising of the sea level. In 2017, after decades of research and debate, Zealandia was officially recognized as a continent by the International Union of Geological Sciences. With crust over 20 kilometers thick, it fulfills the criteria to be considered a continent. Zealandia's geology is diverse and dynamic. New Zealand's two main islands stretch along active fault lines between colliding tectonic plates. This produces mountains like the Southern Alps, volcanic peaks like Mount Ruapehu, rolling farmlands like Canterbury Plains, glaciers like Franz Josef, forests like Waipua, beaches like Piha, and fjords like Milford Sound. Offshore, the continent extends 5 million square kilometers and sinks to ocean depths of over 10 kilometers in trenches like Kermadec. Islands like New Caledonia and Norfolk Island are high points poking above the sea. Underwater, Zealandia is rich in minerals, fossils, and unique marine life, such as the colossal squid, the Hector's dolphin, and the giant kelp. Zealandia's physical geography is as diverse as its geology. Though hidden below waves, Zelandia has scenic and varied landscapes that offer many opportunities and challenges for its inhabitants. Zelandia's location in the South Pacific influences its climate and natural resources. The continent spans from the subtropical to the subantarctic zones, creating a range of temperatures and precipitation patterns. The surrounding ocean currents also affect Zelandia's weather and marine life. For example, New Zealand's climate is mostly temperate, with mild winters and warm summers. However, it also varies by region, depending on the altitude, latitude, and exposure to winds. The west coast is wetter and windier than the east coast, while the North Island is warmer and sunnier than the South Island. New Zealand's natural resources include fertile soils, forests, minerals, natural gas, and renewable energy sources like hydroelectricity, geothermal, and wind power. However, New Zealand also faces some environmental issues, such as soil erosion, water pollution, deforestation, and biodiversity loss. Other parts of Zealandia have different climates and resources. For example, New Caledonia has a tropical climate, with hot and humid summers and mild and dry winters. It has rich biodiversity, especially in its coral reefs and rainforests. It also has valuable minerals, such as nickel, cobalt, and chromium. However, New Caledonia also struggles with land degradation, invasive species, and climate change impacts. Zelandia's biodiversity is as remarkable as its physical geography. In isolation, wondrous creatures evolved in Zelandia, many of them found nowhere else in the world. Zelandia's flora and fauna reflect its ancient origins and its diverse habitats. Zelandia's native plants and animals have a long evolutionary history, dating back to the time when Zelandia was part of Gondwana. Some of the oldest and most primitive species in the world can be found in Zelandia, such as the Tuatara, a reptile that resembles a lizard but is actually more closely related to dinosaurs. The giant weta, an insect that can grow up to 10 centimeters long and weigh more than a mouse, and the Leopelma, a frog that has no external eardrum and no tadpole stage. 
Zelandia's native plants and animals also adapted to the different environments and climates that Zelandia offers, from alpine to coastal, from wet to dry. Some of the most iconic and diverse species in Zelandia are the birds, which occupy various ecological niches and display various behaviors and adaptations. For example, the kiwi, a national symbol of New Zealand, is a flightless bird that has nostrils at the end of its long bill and lays eggs that are six times larger than those of other birds of its size. The tui, a songbird that has a distinctive white tuft on its throat and can mimic human speech and other sounds. And the kaka, a parrot that has a powerful beak and tongue that can crack nuts and extract nectar from flowers. However, Zelandia's biodiversity also faced many threats and challenges over time, especially after the arrival of humans and their introduced predators and competitors. Many of Zelandia's native plants and animals were hunted, displaced, or driven to extinction by rats, cats, dogs, stoats, possums, deer, pigs, goats, rabbits, and other invasive species. Over 50 kinds of birds alone were lost, including the moa, a giant flightless bird that could reach 3.6 meters tall and weigh 230 kilograms, the huya, a bird with striking black and white plumage and a long curved bill, and the host's eagle, a bird of prey that could have a wingspan of up to three meters and prey on moa. Today, efforts are underway to restore Zelandia's biodiversity and protect its unique ecosystems. One of the most successful initiatives is Zelandia itself, an eco-sanctuary in Wellington that is surrounded by a predator-proof fence. Since its establishment in 1999, Zelandia has reintroduced 18 species of native wildlife back into the area, some of which were previously absent from mainland New Zealand for over a century. Zelandia is also home to over 40 species of native birds, dozens of reptiles and amphibians, hundreds of plants and trees, thousands of insects and spiders, and millions of microbes. Zelandia's vision spans centuries, aiming to restore this land to its pre-human state and inspire people worldwide. By rediscovering our lost eighth continent and protecting its wonders, we gain not only resources, but also a new perspective on this living planet we call home. Zelandia's cultures are as diverse as its geography and biodiversity. The people of Zelandia have shaped and been shaped by this land, creating rich and varied traditions, languages, arts, and identities. Zelandia's indigenous people are the Maori, who arrived from Polynesia around 700 years ago. They named this land Aotearoa, meaning land of the long white cloud. They developed a complex and sophisticated culture based on their ancestral ties to the land, sea, and sky. They have a unique worldview expressed through their oral history, mythology, art, music, dance, and carving. They also have a strong sense of social organization based on their kinship groups, tribal affiliations, and collective values. The Maori culture has survived and thrived despite the challenges of colonization, assimilation, and marginalization. Today, the Maori make up about 15% of New Zealand's population and have a significant influence on its politics, economy, education, and media. They also have a vibrant presence in other parts of Zelandia, such as New Caledonia and Norfolk Island. Zelandia's other cultures reflect its history of migration and diversity. The first European settlers arrived in the 17th and 18th centuries, mainly from Britain, France, and Germany. They brought with them their own languages, religions, customs, and laws. They also had a profound impact on Zelandia's environment, society, and identity. Today, Zelandia is home to people from various ethnic backgrounds and origins, such as Asian, Pacific Islander, African, Middle Eastern, Latin American, and others. They contribute to Zelandia's multiculturalism and cosmopolitanism. They also face some issues of integration and discrimination. Zelandia's cultures are constantly evolving and interacting with each other and the world. They offer a rich and diverse heritage that can inspire us to learn more about ourselves and others. We have reached the end of our journey to explore Zealandia, Earth's hidden continent. We have learned about its formation and geology, 
its physical geography and climate, its biodiversity and conservation, and its cultures and heritage. We have seen how Zelandia is a fascinating and unique place with many secrets and wonders to discover. What can we do to learn more about Zelandia and its people? What can we do to protect Zelandia and its wildlife? What can we do to appreciate Zelandia and its culture? These are some of the questions that we hope you will ask yourself after watching this video. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Subscribing to the channel is a different form of bookmarking so that you can see our other videos. We'll see you in the next Odyssey.